Cornell, a small city nestled in the hills of Steuben County. Settler Benjamin Crosby first arrived here in 1790, followed two years later by George Hornell, the city's namesake. But Hornell really marks its true beginning from 1851, when the first steam locomotive chugged its way into Hornellsville. For a century after that, Hornell was a major cog in the wheels that turned for the Erie Railroad. From the beginning, Hornell's fortunes have been tied to those of the railroad it served. In the early 50s, Hornell faced layoffs when the Erie shops had to convert from steam locomotive repair to diesels. Later, Erie merged with Lackawanna, and the railroads began to decline. Hornell once had a busy schedule of passenger trains, linking it to cities like Buffalo, New York, Chicago. That's all gone now. What the railroad gave, the railroad has taken away. Hornell once was the base for the accounting bureau of the Erie Railroad. Those 150 jobs are gone now. In their place, a supermarket parking lot. And now, the unkindest cut of all the newly created Conrail, which took over seven bankrupt railroads, including Erie Lackawanna. Conrail announced it will close the Hornell repair shops May 1st. The loss of 200 jobs here. There would be 600 employees kept for the supervisor's office handling the tracks from Buffalo to Port Jervis. But that 600 is only a small fraction of what once was when railroad was king. Well, naturally, we're all quite disappointed and uh, to the point, uh, very discouraged. But by the same token, uh, uh, we're trying to make the best of it. We know that uh, these are times that uh, require changes, and uh, uh, we're just going to have to buckle up a little bit. And, and if it means uh, uh, starting over someplace else, why, the people in this shop are ready to do it. We're better equipped to handle this situation than we have been any time in our history. We have industrial parks under construction. We have an, another industrial park on a drawing board. We're going to offer an opportunity for an industrial developer of a choice of sites. We're located uh, in an area that has craftsmen. Uh, we have transportation. We're 25, uh, we're, we're 24 hours away from 25 percent of the population in the United States and Canada for raw materials and finished products. No, we've got a spirit here that's not going to die with a railroad. We're better equipped than we've ever been to handle this, and we can do it. Hornell, once a promising little railroad city of 17,000, now has little more than 12,000 in the population and less than half the 1,500 railroad employees that once were here. Unless Hornell succeeds in finding a new identity of sorts, Conrail may have left it further than ever off the beaten track. Vic Baker, First Team News in Hornell.